Hi guys, this is TM over here and today I'm bringing you a video in how to root your gear too. So it is not a difficult process, but you will need. First of all, you will need your gear, obviously, then the uh, micro USB adapter and then a USB to micro USB cable and obviously a computer and a brain. Well, uh, so now let's get back to the computer. So first of all, all you have to do is go to the download link that is in the description and download this file right here. So after you have downloaded it, just go ahead, open it up and then there you go. You have these two folders, Odin and the root. So now you can drag this to your desktop. Just wait for it to extract. Okay, so the folders are extracted right here, now you can close this and you have these two folders. So first of all, go ahead and open up Odin. If you are in Windows 7 or Windows 8, right click and then run as administrator. Okay, so we are here and now what you have to do? Let's go to your gear, but first of all, go right here to settings, then scroll down and go to gear info, then make sure you have the USB debugging on, and then go to about gear. Make sure you have this model, and also the software version. If you do not have the, the same software version as I do, just go to your phone, go to gear manager, and then update your gear make sure you are in this version well then all you have to do is enter the download mode to enter the download mode press and stay the and stay pressed stay pressing the home button well when it says rebooting click three to four times release it and then click to three or four times and this menu will appear and then if you press the home button it will scroll down like this and you can choose what you want to do so we want to go to download mode so now let's select the download and then stay pressing to enter okay so now as you can see gear 2 is in download mode now all you have to do is go ahead get the adapter and then enter the adapter here okay it is fixed and now You'll need your USB cable. Go here, go, go ahead and connect USB cable to your gear. Then you can leave your gear right here and then connect the USB cable to your computer. Okay, so it is connected right now. I'll just put this here and let's get back to the computer so here in the computer what do you have to do so first of all go right here and go to app ap enter it up and then go to your desktop where you extracted the root folder enter up the root folder and then uh, there's this tar file well, most of you guys will want to extract this, but do not extract this. Just let it be right there, just, just like this, okay? Because if you extract this, uh, it won't work. And then you will say in the comments that it doesn't work. Well, it works, but please do not extract this, okay? Just leave it like there. The, inside the root folder, do not extract the file, okay? So now go ahead and click on open. And well, as you can see, when we connected the gear 2 to the computer, this blue uh, rectangle here will pop up. And well, this means it is connected. And as you can see here, you can say you can you can see that it says added. Now make sure you have the auto reboot and the F reset time uh, checked. Uh, if those boxes are not checked, check those two boxes. And well, just make sure you have everything like I do in my computer right here. 
and then go ahead and click start. Now, well, it, it, uh, it can take a while, but it is a actually a quick tutorial. It's a quick installation. So now all you have to do is wait for it to finish. Well, while this is installing, uh, I just want to explain you uh, why I'm doing this route. Most of you guys want to know how to route, and well, that is not. Uh, there are not many reasons to root your Galaxy Gear now, because uh, there are not a lot of apps that need, and there's there are also no Explorer in the Gear. Uh, but it may be useful for those of you who need to. Uh, who want to to remove the camera the camera sounds the camera shutter sounds uh, Because it is actually very annoying. I'll explain that in the other, in another video But of course to do that you need to have a uh, root Also, as you can see it already says removed down here and reset over there Well, and as you can see in the gear uh it is rebooting right now and well when it restarts as you can see it is restarting when it reboots uh, you will have a rooted Samsung Gear 2 okay so so as you can see, my gear is now rooted. Well, you you can't actually see if it's rooted, but if you done all the process just like I did, and everything uh, worked just like I did, well, you can now disconnect this. Uh, so that means that you have a rooted gear, Samsung gear, Samsung gear two. Uh, so, well, now that it is rooted, uh, this video is over. Well, in the next video I'll probably show how to remove the camera shutter sound because it is very annoying. But, well, uh, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a thumbs up and see ya.